praise, praise enlivens our lives when it's directed toward God. It enlivens our hearts when it's directed toward God. One thing I, I love about you is how, is how loudly you sing. I sit in the front, strategically placed probably by our worship pastor so I can't be heard, but I sit toward the front and, and I, get, I get a lot of the impact behind me. And it, 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 it lifts my spirit as you sing loudly and boldly and confidently. Now, now I tell Craig, you know, we're, we're dysfunctional when it comes to clapping. You know, clapping and singing, we're a little bit on the dysfunctional side. I asked him the other day, I said, you know, why do you have us clapping and singing? We don't do very well at it. And he says, I, I really believe in them, and so I think eventually we'll get it. Well, some people can't clap and sing. Dr. Elis said to me one time, I, I just can't clap and sing. And I said, brother, then clap. <laughs> he said, back at you, pastor. Well, he used to sit by me when I first started preaching here. Now he's wandered somewhere away from me because of uh, the volume that I sing. What, well, I, heard, I heard him moan over here. <laughs> the volume that I sing and the volume that I sing. And so, you know, worship Worship enlivens the heart, and our worship, our worship will be better, and it's already good, the more that we prepare to come. That is, if you only played football on Sundays, you would never be very good, but what you practice during the week and execute on Sundays on the football field, well, that practice during the week gets you ready to execute on Sunday. And, and I can tell that that you practice. None of us do all that we should do. None of us do all that we want to do. But, but let me encourage you, be a, be a man and woman of worship.